Um, so let's come back to Dreamweaver and we're going to start pulling our results. So we're going to go into this PHP block here and let's do some good form commenting. Alright, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define our query. So we're going to create a new variable called Q for query uh, and equals and inside these quotes here we're going to write out our uh, MySQL query. So we're going to say select all, which the asterisk is the wildcard for all, from authors, which is our table name. And that's all we need to do for the query right now. We can do uh, some more um, specifics there and later on. Um, the next thing we're going to do is create a ver variable that's going to hold our result. And that's going to be r equals And we're going to create uh, or run a function called the MySQLI query, which takes two parameters, the database connection and our query, which is housed in the uh, Q variable. And we'll close that line. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the result happens or is successful. So we're going to say if r. And if there is a result, we're going to run a uh, while loop. It says while row, which is a variable we're going to give name we're going to give to the row um, array that's going to hold each one of our rows equals my SQL I fetch array. And this function is going to look for our um, result as the first parameter. And the second parameter is asking us how we want to generate these results, what kind of array. And we're going to generate an associative array. Um, you could also do a numeric array, which just gives back the row number. Um, but in an associative, um, excuse me, associative array, it's going to save um, or store the row name or field name in the row or as the row um, array keys. Um, again, we'll get into some of this stuff later if I when I make a uh, PHP Basics tutorial. So, in this while loop, we're going to tell the page what to do with the results. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to give simple variable names to the different rows. So the first variable we're going to create is the first name. So first equals and we're going to pull um, the data from our data from the row array and we want to pull it from the author first row our field and let's go ahead and just copy this block here and paste it because we're going to grab the uh, last name and we're going to go ahead and make one of these for each individual um, field So last location, which we'll just simplify is loc, and we have URL, and we have job, we have ID, and we have status. And you'll notice again these are these are not in order, um, the way we put them into the database, and that doesn't matter. 
Um, so we'll make this location. And we'll make this URL. And we'll make this job. ID and status. And again, just to recap, if you're you're lost here, what we've done is we've created an array called the row, and in that array, each key in the array is given the name of each field name we have in the uh, MySQL database. So the value um, of this is going to equal whatever is in the uh, fields. Um, and this will make a little more sense once we see our result. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tell um, PHP what we want to do with all this information. And we're going to do an echo command. And echo will let us um, output whatever is inside these quotes uh, to the screen. So this is where we're going to put our HTML. And like I said, with PHP, if you know, you can't just put HTML inside of a PHP block without um, using a command uh, to or properly telling PHP that this is going to be HTML. Um, so here we're going to put in some HTML, and all we need to do is actually grab this um, tag here for the column. And toss that in here. And we're going to copy and paste this to get our seven rows. And we're actually going to want to make our table row as well. And we'll close it down here. And let's just get rid of this empty row up here. And let's bring our table tag down at the end of the PHP block. So, at this point right now, what this is going to do, if we ran it, is it's going to start making our table. And then it's going to stop here and run this while loop and create a row for as many times as we get a result. Um, or if for as many rows are in the result. In this case, there's going to be two rows. So this will create two rows. Um, they're going to be empty at this point because we don't have any values inside these um, rows. So now let's go ahead and put some values in here. Um, with quotes, there's two different ways you can do them. You can do a double or single. Um, the single quote um, if we want to put a value in here, a or if we're going to put a variable inside of a single quote echo here, what this is actually going to echo to the screen is going to be literal. It's not going to actually be the value of the first variable. It's just going to output a row or a column with a dollar sign first. So that's not what we want. What we don't want to do is we want to concatenate. So we're going to put another single quote and then a period. And then another period. And then another single quote. And that's pretty much going to stop this echo for a second, spit out the value of first, and then continue the echo. Um, if you don't want to do it this way, you can use double quotes. And in that case, it's going to read the variable for what it is and output the value. Um, there are reasons to use single and double quotes. Um, it just depends on what you're doing at the time. For this, we're going to go ahead and use the single. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it several times here. So we can go ahead and say last. Or, sorry, this is going to be ID, and this is going to be first, and this is going to be last, and this is going to be loc job URL and status. So 
So now when we run this, we are going to get a result. So let's go ahead and save and upload. So control shift U and no, we don't need any dependents. And let's go over to our browser and see what we uh, created here. There you have it. It pulled our results from the database.